you can win this R32 and 3,000 bucks cash. All you gotta do is go to the links I've got for you in the description to enter. You get three times entry shopping at 53supply.com or you get double entries if you buy car parts at powerjdm.com with my code. You got a little over a week to enter, so don't miss out. Happy shopping and good luck. Enjoy the video. Good morning. Our friend Kevin from Power JDM came over this weekend for one, to kind of hang out, but two, to help me get a few more things buckled up on this car. Something amazing is the clutch finally is working really, really nicely. We bled the master and the slave. As you guys are watching this, we are painting the hood, we're having the hood and side skirts and trunk completely repainted. We did a little bit of work on, that's, isn't this so weird that I'm wearing a hoodie right now? It's Texas and it's, Almost May. Got a new steering wheel and uh, ooh, ooh. I need to put the interior back together, but the shifter linkage and stuff is all good. New bushing. It feels, it feels freaking nice. There's only a couple things left to do on this car and the giveaway is coming to an end, meaning one of you guys is gonna be driving this car pretty soon. One of the things we have to do, obviously, is tune it. It's on the standalone ECU now, so it needs a full tune. The other thing is, it's got a, just a little, uh, <laughs> It's got a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like an open down pipe right now. It needs an exhaust. Well, I was gonna have one completely fully made, but I was, we found one that was like really nice. Basically a straight pipe with an N1 style muffler at the end. So let's go. RBs sound amazing with an N1 tip like this. So I'll probably clean it up a little bit, get it on the car, but we've got a J pipe and then we've got a full exhaust. That's not a muffler, that is a resonator. So that probably just, that just literally makes it sound good. That's a little muffler, if you will, but this is basically a straight pipe. I had the Evo on the lift because I really thought that I was going to do the turbo upgrade pretty soon, but this is taking up all of our time. So I'm gonna get this car off of this lift. R32 on, Evo off. does not sound good. And it's also very stinky. My Evo's still on. Man, how sad is this? Listen, baby Evo, I promise you'll, you'll get your love. You and the Lexus will get the love that you deserve. You, the Supra, the Lexus, all of the cars, I promise I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna love you so hard. This thing makes the loudest, scariest clicks. So loud! <laughs> One loud stinky boy going away today. So we've got the J, it's actually gonna be a super simple install, which I'm a huge fan of. I need to get a gasket actually, so I'll have to run to the store for that, and then it'll just run straight back. That N1 style exhaust is gonna be nice. You guys have tons of questions for me all the time that I unfortunately don't get to answer. So we're gonna take one second and answer a few from my Instagram story. So far I'd say we got a few. It's been a while since I've done this. I like to interact with you guys every now and then. So if you guys do have questions, I do this sometimes on my Instagram stories. So make sure you follow my Instagram. Also make sure you subscribe and turn the notifications on. A couple questions I do wanna answer about the giveaway, um, the most common question. The first question that actually was even asked on this was, are you planning to do any other car giveaways soon aside from the R32? Um, my answer is most likely not anytime soon. So for your information, Victoria does and manages all of the clothing stuff on 5-3 Supply. Like that's her baby. She has an amazing job at it and I love her for that. She's about, we're about to have our child. <laughs> we're about to have a daughter here in about two months. Uh, we will not be able to do a lot of clothing stuff. We don't really have anybody else that we trust that we can hire to take over that kind of stuff and delegate. I mean, it's a really big deal. She's basically an executive. It's, it's, it's not something that's just like replaceable. So we'll have to wait a little bit. The next question is, why are you guys not including outside of the USA. That is because of your country's laws. In fact, there's also people that ask like, why isn't Florida and New York included? Florida and 
New York have very dumb <laughs> laws. Without getting into too much detail, um, you have to pay a lawyer or a company every single time you do a giveaway. It's a big fee and they have to make a contract. Basically like in ties with every single state. Every single state has different laws for stuff like this. New York and Florida are very, very, very picky and they're annoying and you have to do a lot of extra work before the giveaway starts and that's just something we haven't been able to do but we do absolutely plan on including New York and Florida here uh, pretty soon. We like to have all, at least all upper 48. What's your go-to car to drive when you're feeling down? My Evo 3 or my Supra? I absolutely love driving both of those. My AMG is pretty fun, but like that's just like a cool car that I can drive around. It's like a date night kind of car, you know? But dude, getting in my Evo 3 especially, it's just such a, it's such a cool little car to poot around, poot around town in. When am I planning to do a turbo upgrade on my Evo? Which one? <laughs> I know you guys are gonna ask about the other Evo too, but once this car is out of my hair, I will finally have time again, and I will be also working on the IS300. So this car has been a lot more work than I have anticipated, but it's really important that I get this thing absolutely perfect for you guys. There's a lot of IS300 comments. I really like life-related questions. What is your biggest dream in life? Ever since I was young, I really just wanted to be successful. And that's a weird thing to chase, but I really, I didn't know how, but I wanted to be successful. I wanted to have money and I wanted to be able to provide for my family for generations to come. Really, my biggest goal in life is not to have material possessions. I'm on a mission here to, uh, to use my following, no matter how big or small, and uh, help you guys. Like obviously I'm here to make money, like making money is great, you guys have to make money, I have to make money, like money is how the world revolves. But uh, I honestly care most about helping you guys and then I honestly care most about pouring into my family, my future family, and I wanna be a good dad. Honestly, that's my biggest life goal. No question, just wanted to say you're awesome and I appreciate your content. <laughs> my boy, thank you. How long did it take you to hit a thousand subs on YouTube? Ooh, it was a long time. I think I did YouTube for two or three years, I wanna say. This is an interesting question and concept. Would you ever build a Mustang? I'm gonna say absolutely yes. For one, Japanese cars are getting kind of redundant and I own most of the ones that I like. Two, they're all getting so expensive, it doesn't really make much sense fiscally for me to keep building them. I don't see myself buying too many more Japanese cars. I would like to get an FD, I'd like to get an S14, I'd like to get an S15, you know, stuff like that, but um, it's getting hard and it's getting really expensive. 15K into an S13? What, who, what? I just buy a used Mustang. Uh, I'm very much considering getting into the V8, uh, American V8 world. What's up with the Evo 8? It is currently, I mean, it's done being painted, but Jose is doing a lot of carbon fiber bits on it. I'm still waiting on cams from Kelford. Every cam company right now for these like dual overhead cam, four cylinder cars, six cylinder cars, um, they're like four to six plus weeks out or months. Have you checked your PO box? Yes, I was there like two days ago. Send me stuff, by the way. It's in the description if you guys ever wanna send me anything. Any advice for young entrepreneurs? Yes. The only guaranteed way that you will never make it is if you stop, if you quit. That's the only way that you will guaranteed not make it. Oh, Dan says, how do I elevate to your level of meme lord? Listen, bro, it's been, I've had to work on this, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the movie, the show my video. I go to store, pick up gasket, and then get monster. I drink monster, I become very big, strong man. Only three carbohydrates in this. Ah, this gasket worked very nice, yes? I'm gonna put you guys right here. I'm put this bag up and I'll start. Not the prettiest J-pipe in the world, but we're on a time crunch. It's what we could get, it, and it works. There's no holes in it. It probably already sounds better <laughs> than it did, but I actually found a gasket, which is super nice. I found a metal gasket lying around that I'll use for this. Two bolts that I've uh, gotten from my parts collection. Very simply, it'll just bolt up, but I really want to clean it up. There's a few products you can use. Simple Green does a really good job. You can also use Gorillo's Garage Multi-Surface Cleaner, which is probably what I'll do. And uh, I don't care about scratching the centerpiece, so like I have like some orange wipes right here. Towards the end though, I can actually use Gorillo's Stainless Steel Metal Polish. That's exactly what I'm gonna do to polish this tip up. I have actually run out of Multi-Surface Cleaner. It's a tragic day, but I'm just uh, using right now. This is, a, this is a simple way to clean up like some stainless or 
Uh, I wouldn't know if I would, I think I would do the right stuff on titanium, but stainless steel exhaust, you wanna get some oils and stuff off of here. That's just cleaning this up. It'll look a lot nicer. The top was super dirty. I actually don't even know what brand exhaust this is. The welds are actually pretty nice. I don't know if I see a name on it anywhere. Oh, what is this, what does this say? Oh my God, no way. <laughs> That's a top speed exhaust. These guys are local to me and I actually was going to pay them to make an exhaust, uh, but they were too busy. <laughs> That's hilarious, bro. I was gonna say, it's mandrel bent, the welds are good. It's gotta be a nice exhaust. It can't just be some piece of crap, but yeah, that's top speed. Yikes, bro. Got my Griot's polish and some metal polish. Ooh. Holy crap. Damn, son. Oh my God. Check that out, before, after. That is nuts. See all these scratches and stuff in here? See all these scratches and all that nasty stuff? That's gonna come out. <laughs> Ladies and gents, you've seen it here first. Look how crazy, shiny, clean this is. That was easy. Most of those scratches are out. I'm not gonna do the entire exhaust because you don't even see anything past this point right here. So we're good. Let's go ahead and hook this thing up. I'm ready to turn the car on and actually hear uh, an RB sound good. <sighs> For a change. One thing that is a lifesaver, guys, especially when doing exhausts, are trans jacks. This thing is the best thing, especially when you're working by yourself because that's what I do. <laughs> All right, she's set up. Y'all ready to watch me struggle? This will be interesting. Operation Vertically Challenged has come to an end, opponent has been neutralized. I'm ready to hear a non-POS RB. I feel like it's possible that this might be my new favorite sounding car. Are my ears gonna bleed? Is it gonna be loud? No. Not in a bad way, I'm like, is it gonna be loud? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. RBs are so good. That is mm, so money. And the exhaust fitment is great. <laughs> we finally have an exhaust, boys. It now feels complete. It sounds complete. Looks complete, sounds complete, feels complete. Like, we have a full skyline now. We can probably hear the blow off now. <laughs> I'm happy that I can hear this, dude. Like. <laughs> is how a skyline should sound. That is a proper sounding skyline. From a video, you guys probably liked the way my R33 sounded, but it was so obnoxiously loud. That is like, that's music to my ears. Man, she sounds good and looks even better. Next time we're in this car, we'll actually be driving it. Ethan will be in the passenger seat we'll be getting this thing tuned. Aside from the hood being painted and uh, probably a couple little things here and there, that's the only thing keeping this car from being like completed. Guys, would y'all be mad if I just didn't give this car away? Cause I'm starting to love it. <laughs> oh, look at this angle. Ooh, buddy. I really love this car. The fact that this thing was abandoned, like, I'm proud. 
I'm proud. It looks so good. It looks so good. The fitment is great. Sounds amazing. Can I get a whole yeah? In a little over a week, one of you guys is gonna take this thing home and I'm actually a little bit jealous because I've spent two months working on this thing to make sure you guys get a perfect car <laughs> and I've barely been able to enjoy it. So I'm gonna try and do my best to like really enjoy this car for the week or so. <laughs> Just to remind you guys, you can buy merch, but you can also buy car parts to enter the giveaway. So if you want wheels, tires, spark plugs, oil, literally anything on PowerJDM.com, um, if you use the link that I've got for you in the description, you get double entries if you use Power JDM. However, you do get triple entries if you go to 5.3 Supply and just buy a shirt or any kind of merch or something like that. We have a bunch of stuff like shift knobs, really comfortable shirts, and we've got even decals. Every dollar you spend, you get three entries. So you could spend literally one dollar and that's three entries for you. Even though the sole purpose of this car for me was just to build it and give it away, kinda jealous of whoever's gonna take it home. Guys, it's that time of the video. I am going to uh, end it and give you guys some daily advice. This is something that Mike Tyson actually said. This can definitely be taken a couple ways, but uh, don't take criticism from people you wouldn't take advice from. This world is filled with a bunch of people that just want to spew their opinions and uh, criticize, that's all they do. That's literally all they do because they're so insecure about themselves, they're so sad about what they haven't accomplished that all they want to do is try and fix other people or criticize other people's lives. It's really important to, it's impossible to block it out because you still read comments, you still see comments. You can't just ignore the haters. Like It's not, it's impossible, you have to see it no matter what. Every time you open up your phone or every time you look at the comment section. A lot of things that people have to say are not worthy of noting if that makes any sense. There'll be a lot of people in your life that'll criticize what you're doing, um, but they they don't necessarily know what's best for you. Can't tell you how many times uh, my own family even told me that like YouTube was a terrible decision or like it, it would never work out or I just needed to pursue a regular job. And um, that's not necessarily some, it's not that I wouldn't take advice from them, but sometimes you know, you don't need that advice. There's advice that you'll get that uh, you do need to pass over your head because you might actually know what's best for you. Despite what a lot of people, take that as you will, but uh, if anything you grab from that, it's like people are gonna say a lot of things. Not everything is, is worth noting and not everything is worth like paying mega <laughs> big attention to. You guys subscribe and I'll see you guys next video. Peace. Hey, I got two videos for you guys to watch. That's right, two, two of them. Um, basically, I just need you to watch them. It helps me out a lot. And just subscribe and have a good day. That's it. Have a good one. Have a great day.